Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games live on Twitch. Welcome to the show. It's an 8-bit day. Yay! For those of you who are wondering. Yeah. Um, a little bit late, but that's okay. Oh, God. Traffic, traffic, traffic. I have uh, my I have my my wine with me because not only a glass a, of wine it was a horrible commute. <laughs> so, uh, oh. so tonight we have three eight bit games, uh, and one of the developers in the chat. Yay! So welcome, Ken. Mm -hmm. uh, the games we're going to be playing tonight are Yump. 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 With a Y, <laughs> probably pronounced like oh I think it's like. Pretending like it's a J, but being pronounced like uh, mm -hmm. certain European countries, and they go yump. They pronounce J's as Y's. Okay. Uh, I believe <laughs> that's how it works. And then we're going to be playing Invader mm -hmm. by Ken Jennings, who is in the chat. And we are also going to be playing Bruce Lee Return of Fury, which is very exciting because I love Bruce Lee, yeah. the original game. I played it a lot. Nice. On. Hey, Metal Lunar 7, thank you for resubscribing. Yay, thank you. For five months. Awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, I played uh, Bruce Lee on my C64. And uh, apparently, Atari, what, the 8 bit version, mm -hmm. was the original version, and the oh, C64 gotcha. was kind of the port. The port of, of the uh, yeah. Atari version. Cool. Yo, there it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, grown, Dan. Yeah, very grown. <laughs> I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. 8 bit Swami Alna for Armscar, Kota Atari, Ages Ur, 6502, Bomberman, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Caffeman 2D, Charles in Check, Charles Whelan, Chai, Coconut, Dianoid, Dan, Dan, Andrew Darling, Dan, if you see Drexel, Dr. Moo, Cal, Zemu, Dan, Fappy is Great Offender, I is supposed to Jedek Johnny WC, Carl G, Karako, 2600, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Mike Muse, Mike Soul, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zon Roop, Mr. Vix, Muddy Funster, Nostalgic, Pack Rat, Quahog, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, Fiji, Ricardo Pimpsey, R. Siddle, Smitty B, Spiceware, SMRs, DD Train, Welshman, Tiki Dan K, Timothy, Lampfear, Trek MD, and uh, Metal Lunar 7. Nice. Glad to that list. And just Pixel. now. And, and Pixel. Pixel. He, he, just he helps. Beside me in his own little way. You can yeah. see a little bit of fluff, fluff yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, little black fluff on the And uh, so, if you, uh, those are the people who support the show, if you want to do that too, you can hit subscribe below. It's free if you have Amazon Prime. Just link it up to Twitch, and it's all good. And I want to thank everybody in the chat, including Camille Freya. Hello, Camille Freya. Uh, hello, Ken Jennings. Uh, Vitoko, Metal Lunar 7, Al Nefer, Arena Foot. Welcome back to Civilization. He is back in his house after the uh, storm. What was it? Tropical storm. It was a tornado. So many names. Hurricane. Names, right? Hurricane. <laughs> uh, nostalgic. Terrible, terrible weather event. Is yeah. <laughs> Hurricane Ida. Hurricane. That, it was a hurricane. That's its name. Yeah. Nostalgic 26. Dan AVC. Yeah. Uh, Toco Phaser Cat Games. Who else in this list was chatting? Carl G, Crossbow, um, Armscar Coder right mm -hmm. at the top, and everybody else. Category four. Miss, Miss Command. Command. You missed nothing. <laughs> you missed half, <laughs> half the, the names, names being read. <laughs> so not too much. No. Not too much. Uh, we do have a poll question tonight. Uh, let me put it on the screen for everyone. Boom. Um, once in a while, I do like doing streams that are not Atari. So if we, not very often, <laughs> but no. once in a while, maybe once a year. Mm. Um, so if I was to do a stream that's not mm. Atari, which, got, which one would you guys like mm. me to do? Um, a C64 one, a Vectrex one, mm -hmm. or an Intellivision one? Mm. C64 one, Vectrex number two, yeah. number three, Intellivision, you can vote for more than one. Not TRS-80. <laughs> uh, you can vote for more than one with a space in between your numbers. Because I've got uh, multi-carts for all of them. Gotcha. So I'm able to do all nice. of them. Uh, my Intellivision is currently getting, well, it's on its way, okay. to Crossbow, getting oh, upgraded okay. nice, for nice, RGB. Nice, nice. Uh, Vectrex is just a Vectrex. You can't upgrade that. How about arcades? Arcade, all arcade day. No. <laughs> no. Uh, arcade games, 
I, n- translated, ported to a computer? No, we find an arcade and we do a live stream at an arcade. <sighs> I know that's that has nothing to do with homebrew. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing at all. Nothing um, at all. And I have a uh, multi card for the C64, <laughs> and uh, that outputs S video, which is quite good. Uh, 213. Charles Reese, you invalidated your vote. You, vote, <laughs> you voted for yeah, everyone. He, <laughs> vo- he wants all of them. Yeah. And I guess it increases the number for all of them, so it works. It's true. It just uh, evenly increases the number. I like I all of them, and I want to do all of them eventually, yeah. so I yeah. have no problem. Do you have a preference for what you want to do first? <sighs> Uh, I mean, Vectrex is the coolest yeah. because of the the way it is. Mm-hmm. So I probably want to do a Vectrex, but I love C64 and the SID chip. <clears throat> um, Intellivision is just quirky and the controllers, I really don't like them. But uh, it's just quirky and it's getting upgraded soon, so I want to show that off. So I have reasons for all of them. Yeah, I. so you're talking specifically about doing homebrew on them too. Of course, this is so, a homebrew show. So... So, but of those three platforms, yep. do you feel like one might win out just because of the amount of homebrew, or because um, I know I know there's lots of vec- I, there's lots of C sixty four homebrew Probably too. Probably the most is C sixty four homebrew. Yeah, Vectrex. There Vectrex is, a is lot. just cool. It's like, just cool. Yeah. There's a lot of Intellivision homebrew too, but yeah. I think a little bit more Vectrex homebrew. Yeah, Vectrex is the second biggest homebrew behind 2600 well there you go really yeah i guess consoles for consoles yeah. because eight eight bits really like uh atari eight bits huge this huge too it's very big yeah since i've been keeping track of it it's like wow there's a lot uh mail we have mail yay right let's open this one first i know what each of them is i've already opened one of them for reasons but uh for reasons uh this one I'm pretty sure I know what it is. And it's related to the poll. Which is kind of why I asked it. Adjusting the stuffies. Yes, for consoles. Uh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, it's a lot easier easier to you program, program a computer for a computer because yeah. you can type directly on that computer. Yeah. For a console, you have to program it on another system and port it over yeah wow. because computers were meant to be over. Yeah, yeah. meant to be programmed on yeah fair enough yeah. yeah so that's why the communities are bigger they just have more resources they had resources right from the beginning i right? think so i love the idea of c64 that's yep. the system that i know from my childhood oh. um but i actually think Ve- vectrix might win out for me just because it's such a cool system and i really want to see what Puzzle people box. have there we go have come up with for it yes that's, that's kind of that's kind of what i really like we got lots of friends lots of friends lots of, friends. <laughs> lots of totoros and set sprites yes. and dinosaurs and yes power Just power making stars sure they're all they're, they all look good welcome dma trance yes this is da, 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 pie tracks oh my god it's the pie tracks it is a Raspberry Pi multi-cart okay. for the Vectrex cool. that that plays ported arcade vector arcade games. Okay, that's the ultimate coolness. So you can actually play Star Wars on your Vectrex, like the actual Star like Wars arcade, arcade game translated. That yes. is cool. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I would sadly, like Vectrex original and homebrews just because I don't know. <laughs> I, I just, I think the Vectrex is just so cool, a system. It's so unique. These are sold out right now with okay. the case. Actually, okay. they're sold out, sold out. But oh, wow. They're coming okay. back soon, but not with the case. But you can get them 3D printed. Um, this looks like an actual case. Yeah, this is a, a case from a Vectrex cart that they've repurposed. That they repurposed. It says wow. 1982. Wow. So I'm going to show you guys in the cat cam. Oh, there's Pixel. Oh, Pixel's very excited. So, yeah, look at that. There's the Pi tracks, uh, and you can program it with those pins, those are the uh, I.O. pins from the, um, from the Raspberry Pi. It's Raspberry Pi Zero in there, I believe. Yep, it says right on it. Yep, Pi Zero. Um, there you go. Some nice pins. Normal pins for ve- <laughs> Vectrex. Nothing. Nothing. And nothing. 
So pretty pretty boring looking. <laughs> Looks like a Vectrex cart. Um, but what it does is amazingly cool. Mm. Um, so I'm really, really uh, excited. Stubby stubby Vectrex stick. Oh, but that stubby little Vectrex stick. Like the, the, <laughs> well, the controller is oh, pretty. Oh, no. Pretty. Uh, no, we won't be using that stubby <laughs> Vectrex stick. I have a very expensive third party. Do you? Uh, Vectrex. All the stuff comes out. All the stuff he's been buying and hoarding comes out when he starts pulling it out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, I think I, I remember that. That's very, really very cool. Nice. Yeah. yeah. It's called a Rad Pad. So we'll nice. be using that when we play. And probably showing off the Vectrex collection at the same time. Yeah. Uh, Crossbow, yeah. you'll see the poll when we flip back. Oh, there we there's go. There's the poll. Yeah, there's again. the poll. Um, it's what non-Atari system should we play when we do a non-Atari night, yeah. just for fun. Uh, yeah, that's a much better joystick. It's still stubby um, because it has to be analog. Yeah. So, I mean, you can have a digital one, and I have digital converters, so we can use the, that on it. Uh, oh, cool. The okay. uh, Bratwurst one. Nice, nice. Or nice, the big nice. ones or anything Yeah. Um, as well. So what's in the box what's in the box brad pitt says um let's see what's in the box now this is going to actually help us tonight uh it is a bunch of stuff from uh the website 8-bit classics so let's take a look at this this is an eight pin atari 8-bit five pin din Chroma Luma AV cable. Um, Which looks like a composite cable. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, they're RCA cables. Yeah. But this one only really has one purpose. Yeah. Is to hook up to a Commodore 64 monitor. Oh, this okay, okay. One of the only kind of TVs that can accept Chroma Luma inputs directly. Chroma Luma inputs, okay. Yeah. Chroma and Luma um, is brightness and colors and color. separated out okay. and com combined those make um, composite um, separately they're kind of s video but not really s video <laughs> they're like early s video i feel like someone needs to do an extended a documentary on the evolution of um video, video oh, course sure. there's many, <laughs> many 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 it's so funny like there's so many of them there are <laughs> uh, there's wall charts. I, 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 I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. And I'm sure the, the there's this, this teeny tiny segment of the population that would take there's interest in it. Yeah. Like me. <laughs> uh, like James. This one <laughs> is what we're going to be using tonight. This okay. is a five pin DIN S video and composite AV cable, which is what I've been waiting for. Yeah. This has an actual S video output. So I can hook it up to the retro tank. Okay which I've already done because I wanted to make sure it works and not just hook it up and go, oh, it failed. Um, it yep. looks so mm. much better than the compass. Does it? Good, yes. good, good. Um, so I'll be plugging that in in a second. Um, then I have the Atari XL XE AC adapter. Mm. So what this does, we'll be using this tonight too. It changes this into this <laughs> so you don't need this anymore that big brick that big brick of a chunky thing oh okay you just need this really that's it wait what is this brick for is that for it's the for powering the atari oh okay okay so that is gone nice you will likely look better on composite mm, no it looks pretty good on uh, <laughs> it looks pretty good on s video does it yeah and even cooler for power which i'm not going to use but it's cool to have anyway is the five pin din to usb because the atari all it needs is five volt power yeah and that's what usb supplies oh. so you plug this in to a usb power wow and it can power an atari um that's interesting computer system i yep. would not have thought that but that's that's i was very surprised to see that as mm. well mm -hmm. yep no it does not <laughs> Oh, pseudographics. Are you one of the developers? Mm. Um, so let's hook this up right now. Um, this one. This one goes away. This one goes away. 
Artifacting is really only useful in high-res graphics mode. Oh, yeah. It uses 160 by 120 for the game screen. Mm. Uh, okay. So, let's plug this in right now. I'm so surprised that cat is just still hanging out there. He likes somebody made a comment. That oh, no, he loves the Ataris, especially when they're the on the floor, floor. He just cuddles up next to them. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. He's blinking at me. He's very oh. happy right now. It also has a composite out, so we can actually compare it. Um, there we go. And for the new power, we're going to use this tiny, tiny, tiny one and never use the brick again. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. There we go. My kind of cat. see James in the cat cam. <laughs> yeah. Yep. There we go. So nice. we'll take a look at that when we power it on, and I'll show you the difference between the two. But on with the news. So, um, smooth scrolling playfield on the 2600 now works in Gopher 2600. Now, I had not heard of this before um, but this is astounding for the 2600 take a look at this per pixel playfield graphic scrolling mm. from right to left there normally playfield goes chunk 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 right yeah um, this is per pixel scrolling of playfield it's unbelievable this was actually developed in 2014. Mm. Let me just play that again. Um, by ESHU, ESHU um, who uh, was the program of the incredible Arkanoid style um, breakout game called uh, Paranoid, yeah. which was very, very mm -hmm. cool. He said, based on my R-Sync, V-Sync experiments, I think I've managed to get a smooth scrolling play field. Works fine on my VCS and TV. Could people try it out and let me know if it works? And it works awesome. Um, I tried to play it on my uh, VCS, okay. hooked up to digital equipment. It just craps out, which which oh, I expected. Uh, it, against... it needs a CRT, I'm guessing, okay. because it uses special tricks and the CRT can put up with that. Um, reading through the thread, a cardboard box, it doesn't play well with other graphics unfortunately mm -hmm. and it's never been used in anything mm -hmm. it's kind of a hey look what we can do with special tricks but it doesn't doesn't do anything but that mm -hmm. um i guess it would be useful for say a demo in a demo competition yeah something like that but you can't really use it in a game unfortunately mm -hmm. but uh go for 2600 which which is a um emulator for 2600 games now supports that scrolling oh. um and i don't think um stella does uh yet but i just ran across this and thought it was super super cool um jan Klex left a message on youtube for us it said this is such a cool channel <laughs> i also hope in the future you'll be able to look into the atari lynx atari jaguar and atari 5200 homebrew games yeah um definitely um, we're going to be incorporating 5200 games because mm. I want to do all the Atari 8-bit stuff. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to get my 5200 upgraded. I'm going to get my 4-port upgraded mm -hmm. so we can play 5200 games. I've got a bunch of joysticks now for 5200 so we can play 4-people mm. games. Um, Atari Lynx, if I was to do that, I'd probably emulate it because it's very expensive to get a Lynx modded. For oh, video output. For video output, okay. And I don't have a Lynx, and yeah. I don't have any games, yeah. and I don't have a multi cart for it. So. Unfortunately. Yeah. I'm just not too into handhelds. Yeah. Oh, thank you for following Pseudo Graphics. Uh, Atari Jaguar, I'm going to buy one. Yeah. I You've do been have some for games. One. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably buy it at the next uh, retro gaming convention, though. If you can find one. If I can find yeah. one. They're yeah. about three to 500 Canadian. Wow. Mm. Yeah, they're not cheap. Probably they're not. 
don't, probably don't come by them too frequently either. There's not many on eBay. Yeah. So, but maybe I'll I'll keep my eyes open on the Atari Age forums. I just yeah. bought a game from the Atari Age forums from gotcha. a from a person. Yeah. And we'll open it on the show when it gets here. Cool. So that's another resource. Yeah. They're generally it's generally cheaper buying it through Atari Age because you know it's all a community and they all want to you know help each other Share out and stuff. And, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, so, it is time to go to the first game, yeah. which is Yoomp. Um, so this is made by uh, who, a bunch of difficult to pronounce mm -hmm. names. Uh, <laughs> so I may just say there, do you, you want to try? Go for it. While, while I get set up. Uh, so. Where is it? Right Marcin Iru Zukowski. Lucas. Oh, Lynx isn't too bad to get upgraded. $93. Okay. Sikowitz. Bartek Biwu Waziel. I'm getting it wrong for sure. <coughs> Peter Fusik. I think that's it. You've got it. Oh, do you want me to. Well, I, think I nope. screwed up what you wrote, but that's okay. Oh, how could you screw up what I wrote? I know. That's infuriating. <laughs> It's fine. Hopefully I'm not too far off. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, those are all the developers. Excellent. Um, so this is first posted May 6, 2007. And this build is from June 15, 2008. So it's a little bit older. Okay. But uh, this is version 1.1. 1 .1. Um, and you can download it from the Yoomp website. Yoomp. Yoomp. So let's take a look at the S-Video output. here. Actually, it's probably better to mm -hmm. do it on a game. Oh, disturbing the cat. Joystick. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> so let's go to Yump. NTSC. Uh, I think we're all good. Make sure the sound is okay when it comes up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that quality. Okay. <laughs> now let's compare it. Looks nice. To the composite quality. Okay. Oh yeah. So you can see it's that's significant. Kind of blurry and mushy wow. and yeah. kind of soft edges. And then there's the S video. Mm -hmm. Much better. Very ah. nice. What did you do? <laughs> okay. Oh, we can't see this yet. Um, I actually wanted to look just a bit of where it came from, but okay. but there's the intro yep. for everyone. Um, because I have some videos of kind of what it's porting, where okay. they got the idea from. So originally they got the idea from a DOS game called Tube. And um, this one is quite advanced, as you'll see. Ah, it's real loud here. Why is it all chunky? I don't know. It's a video, right? Yeah, but it's all chunky. Oh, just the intro. So, um... The developer said, uh, the original idea for the game was to make an Atari port of the old Tube game by Bullfrog. Unfortunately, it turned out making such an engine with high resolution, well, relatively, graphics was impossible on a 64K Atari due to memory constraints. Well, it didn't look at it. It's like, wow. This is more like mm, Jaguar and above level. Yeah. Um, so it's quite, quite advanced. But this is kind of the idea that they, they wanted to translate. Um, Neat. So, they went for something a bit more realistic. Um, this led to an idea of making an in-tunnel port of G D. Johannes's jump game, which is this. Uh, let's get to the game. There we go. Oh, it's very nice. tiny. Um, D. Johannes's jump game. Um, jump. Yump. <laughs> yump. Oh, jump, jump. sorry. 
<laughs> I'm saying that they have Y. Yeah. Um, let me, oh, and there's some more information on their website, which I'm opening. Uh, get me get some Tempest 2000 vibes from that. Yeah, anything yeah. that's in a circle and you're kind of rotating, rotating around, around it. Rotating around, yeah. yeah, for sure. Um, so, development. The game development started in 2007, progressed very quickly. The first playable version with admittedly ugly menus, events, etc. was ready one week later. Um, it still used in-game generated tunnel maps that didn't use perspective. Also provided an alternate ball control method similar to the one found in gyrus later removed from the game because mm. uh with gyrus you point to the direction you want your ball in so in a, it was gyrus is in a circle as well okay if you want your ship at the top you press up at the top if you want your ship on the side you press to the side um instead what they opted for eventually with yump and you'll see that is you rotate with left or right Okay. And it just goes in a circle. It like goes this, in a circle. Okay. Rather than pressing in the direction. Yeah, okay. tennis ball there. I mean, this looks nothing like what we're playing. No, no, no. But it's kind a of similar the idea, idea, but it's set, except it's wrapped in a circle instead of mm. being a flat, uh, flat area. Okay, so let's get back to the game. That's just where it came from. Yeah. Okay. Um, music back for everyone. Beautiful music. Okay, so uh, I would just leave everything as it is. The background on, music volume up, effects volume up. It says stereo not detected, so it supports dual pokey, okay. which is very cool. Yeah. Or a stereo mod. I don't know how the stereo mods work on mm -hmm. Atari. Whether they took, take two channels and separate it off to the left, and two to the right, or whether it's dual pokey, or I'm not sure. Okay, so there are a number of things you jump on, and okay. I'll give you the basics. Um, this printed out terribly. There's normal tiles, which are just flat. They don't really have a design on them. Uh, there's holes in tiles. Don't jump on those. There's blank. Don't jump on those because okay. you'll fall through. Um, there's a long jump, which is an arrow, and it'll jump. It'll skip a block. Okay. So if there's a gap. There's usually an arrow before it, and you'll skip over. Okay. Um, and there's a bunch of other ones. Actually, okay. it shows starter. it at the bottom eventually, actually. Mm. Let's see. I think. I think it shows it at the bottom. Very beautiful title screen. Oh, the it's graphics gorgeous. up top. Yeah. And the kind of there it is. Normal tile. Normal tile. Small hole, big hole, mm. don't go on those at all. Or you can go to the side of a small hole. Save point, long jump. Extra life, definitely get that. Extra jump. Extra jump. Shifter, left, right speed, a teleport, a tunnel stop, a tunnel start. Mm. Increased brightness, decreased brightness, very strange. Mm. Lightning and earthquake. You get points for both of those. I think. Oh, okay. Okay, now you can go. Tube press plus jump equals yump. <laughs> and I've always loved games like this where it's jumping whether it's flat or otherwise yeah. ah. <laughs> you died you have to wrap your brain around don't go up don't you go do. up unless you yeah i to. would stay on the bottom until you get the hang of it so there's the holes there's an arrow jumps over one those are extra points there you go Haha, <laughs> the ball died. <laughs> well, the ball went into the emptiness of space. I guess the ball needs to breathe. Mm -hmm. It's very cool because it's the ball that has a shadow, and the ball also has pattern rotation. And I believe not. Yay! Yay! Not only does it rotate this way, but I thought I saw that it rotates that way when it's moving left and right which is pretty cool. Nostalgic26 says, this is pretty neat and quite smooth. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is unbelievable. Oh, you just got the arrow. <laughs> oh, it does turn a bit when... Um, oh. Keep, keep going. I was, but I was... <laughs> I was, I didn't go for it. You can enough. see the rotation. 
you move left and right. Oh. It's too early. It reminds uh -huh. me of Marble Madness. <laughs> a uh, little bit, like, yeah, just in the... a circular Marble Madness. Nostalgic says, I'm reminded a lot of, was it Trailblazer? You guide a ball, bouncing ball did a flat track and different colored squares had different effects. I think it, that was kind of like the one we were just looking at. Um, jump. That one didn't seem to have any different, different Ooh. types. Reminds me of a Sonic game for the Wii U. A little bit. Yeah, I, I guess so. Um. Uh, the game kept progressing. In a few days, the old tunnel was replaced with one using perspective. This version also contained a new animated ball by X-Ray, and first attempts at some in-game information, including a number of lives in the progress bar. Soon the ball was replaced with a new one, and B-Woo joined the team. We also made first attempts at background graphics. Oh, it screws up my brain when left I'm up, right. up on the side. I'm like, which way am I going? Am I going left or am I going right? I don't know. Uh, in the middle of June, the game got the great music and sound effects by X-Ray. Go to the soundtrack section for downloads. We also made a lot of progress with existing features. At this stage, the game was fully functional. We started to polish many details. Uh, for example, BeWoo designed new fonts, which also resulted in the change of in-game status. So you can down... like they, You can down... Oh! Oh, that's, that's somebody that doesn't need to be right out. Because they've been following over and over again for whatever reason. I don't know how you can prevent that. I mean, I can turn off that noise for a bit. Which I may do if that keeps going. Oh, is that an extra life that I just saw? Oh, yeah, you got six lives ah, now. I go the wrong way. Oh, oh, oh you're on level one still. Up. I started over. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Crossbow chimed in with the stereo mod. Stereo mod on the 8 bits requires an, a second. Pokey chip. Ah, okay. That's what I was thinking. Pokies only have one audio output from pin from the chip, so you pair it with another one to increase the voice count from four to eight. Provide you with another channel to output in the audio between left and right between the two Pokies. Ah, very cool. 3D Rainbow Walker. This game is an acid trip. It is, it is. quite the visual, uh, quite the visual effect going on. And it slowly comes out because in the distance it doesn't have a lot of resolution. No. Like it's, and it slowly gets more and more resolution as it comes towards you. Mm -hmm. um, so I have some more notes about this. Um, so this actually uh, was entered into the ABBUC software contest in 2007 and came in first place, which is not too surprising. It is unbelievable. Just the... Uh... Yeah! Level 2! Just the, the visuals on this and the amount of coding that you need to do to have the progressive circular... Um, field come at you. Uh, yeah, this game has 21 levels. So, you're almost there. <laughs> oh, oh, wrong that way. that screws up my brain! Um, there was actually a, <laughs> a Commodore 64 port of this mm. made in 2018. Um, and it looks extremely close to this. Like, if you put them side by side, you probably wouldn't be able to tell. I mean, somebody really familiar with the graphics modes of each system would probably be able to tell. Um, and you'd be able to tell with the, um, the sound of the music, too. Somebody really uh, in tune with what the Pokey and uh, Sid chip sound like. Looks like it would get confusing when you're at the top of the cylinder. Yeah, because left is not left anymore and right's not right. It's more like... Clockwise and counterclockwise. Nice. Level, level three. Level three done. <laughs> Vitoko can, can do, do this, this in, in ten, ten lines. Li <laughs> I believe in you, Vitoko. Ten lines, easy. It's Vitoko's next challenge. I bet he could do a flat one in ten lines. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Maybe not a circular one, but <laughs> circular is hard. <laughs> I, I like the foreground, the the interesting. Oh, the bubbles kind of thing. Yeah. 
And you're not in the center of... Oh, my God. Oh, oh I, you didn't I, move I, at all. <laughs> I went down. See, uh. I have this... I'm thinking of it. It's very difficult because it's left and right. But when I see it there, I, I keep hitting down instead of left. Yeah. Because I'm trying to go down. It's like, it's a real... You have really gyrus controls. messes with your mind, I find. Yeah, it's really cool, though. Circular one would take them 12 lines. Yeah. Oh, oh, way too, too early. Soon. You'll get your turn. <laughs> After this, yeah. It's but it has fun. a little progress so bar cool. on the bottom, too. shows you how close you are to the end. Oh, move over too fast. Why did you go up? You should have stayed down the center. No, no, I moved over too fast. I was oh. I was looking ahead. Oh, nice. So good. So good. Enter code. Time. <laughs> Enter yum, code. Yum, yum, yum. Seven. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Feed them. Kitty time. Treat time. Is it treat time? Who this gave, gray cat. I don't know if you saw time. him. Who gave them treat time? Uh, RC70. RC70. Yay. Oh, meow. Did you hear that? Did you hear the meow? Oh. Who meowed? Atari, of course. Atari? Okay. There's a... Oh, treats. Treats, please. Hi. You guys are so cute. There's one for you and there's one. Oh my god, it moved too early. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it, it is. Uh, it, it really, you, you re your brain really has to wrap around it. What does jumps mean? The, the, the arrows, you jump double. No, no, no. It doesn't change. It says yes, it three. Yeah. Jumps three. Oh, I don't know. And I've just been on arrows, and it doesn't change. I know lives. Lives what is. is... Lives? Oh, I don't know what jumps is. No, I don't. Oh my goodness, you're so good at that. I can't this. <laughs> He's like, yeah, treats depend on it. Oh. <laughs> Don't mess me up. <sighs> oh, jumps four now. Weird. Does that mean I get a... F jumps five. By the way, if you think... Think uh, this S video looks good, it's the same quality from 5200 for UAV. That's why I've uh, not seen a need to go with Sophia into my 5200. Mm. It is clean. Like, look at it. I mean, this is um, oh, color on black and white. You get a jump when you push oh. fire. So it's like, it's a saving jump, oh. I guess. Oh. I didn't know that. Of course, we haven't read the instructions. There you go. There you well, go. I've read some of the instructions. Yeah, that's okay. You can try it. It, it would save you if you, you've kind of screwed up or ended up. Does it save you if you're falling? Like, know. it does an automatic jump? That'd be cool. We'll try it when, yeah. when, I'm, when I'm about to die. It looks like most of the mazes thus far, you can do them without using I, a jump. I, but um, maybe eventually you have to like. Or plan. or just it kind of it's a save, right? It's yeah. oh no, I screwed up and I'm gonna die. <laughs> yes. Yay! Well, I have a lot saved up because yeah. I don't. That makes sense. Don't play that. Yeah, this looks astounding, like S video. RC seven E's are kitties say thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, thank you, RC7, <laughs> for the treats. Yeah, we can't give them too much. Well, once an hour. Once an hour. And you you do monitor how many you give them, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. They get about, you know, four-ish each. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're searching. They're wondering if there might be another <laughs> treat hidden around the floor. Did so one both fall sniffing. somewhere? <laughs> Oh, that one pushed me. What the hell was Did that? It? Yeah, it went nice. bleh. What do you think the frame, frame rate on this rate. is? Ooh. Oh, I know it's not 60. I think I read somewhere that they had to make it a little bit lower. The frame rate, yeah. Yeah, I think it's 20. So on, it's 20 maybe? frames a second, maybe? Might it be PAL NTSC at different speeds? It would be. Different I, I believe yeah. I read PAL version runs at 25. There you go. Okay. And I think I read that the NTC runs slower, but they are, yeah, it's not, it's not 60. Not too significant, I would hope. Or, or maybe the, oh my god. That's cool.
cool. Oh like, my god! Oh, that was the wrong path. Oh, it still looks. No, I can, no, still, you can see. still see it just fine. Now we know what the uh, brightness does. Oh, yeah. it's right back up now. I think that's really cool. It's unbelievable. You can't jump too early. You have to wait till it hits. Yes. Yeah. And if you if you um, over like comp like jump too soon, that's death. Insta yep. Insta death. And there's different sizes now of landing pads. Yay. Like some are like tapered like some this. Some are smaller. Yeah. And, yeah. It's really cool. Music sounds the same through, though, as the ATR image I have of this. It sounds the same, though. Mm. Um, there is an ATR image that uh, we could have played, it, um, but it contains, maybe it has more music. Okay, the next playthrough yeah. will load up the ATR version. Okay. Because it may have more music on it. Because this is much smaller than the ATR version. Three jumps. Oh, it resets every level. Hmm. Mm. Oh, yep, button does a long jump. Mm. I don't know if it works until you hit the floor, though. Probably your next jump after you push it, I would oh guess. Oh, God. Because it's not going to give you a double jump mid-jump, I would think. No. <gasps> it pushed me to the side. Oh, no. I know. don't know what to do about that. I like how it bounces to the rhythm of the music. Yeah, yes. it's nice. It makes it almost a music game. I like that. Do, do, do. It, it helps a lot, it, it actually. It does. It helps with the timing of, you know, where you're... Uh, see? Too oh, early. It, it's... it's oh. I haven't got many extra lives. A few. I like the ball too, the ball, the colors of the ball and the, yeah. it's all great. And the foreground for every level being a little different is really, really nice looking too. I don't know what I'm going to do about those pushers. Whoa! Whoa! I pressed the button to jump, <laughs> to jump big. Yeah. But then it went like, it did a Huge, huge like circle. A huge circle. I yeah. don't know if I'm gonna pass this because I don't know what to do with that that spot. Because the thing you have yeah. to land on is one away, but it pushes you two away. Yeah. Crossbow says, could the title of the game be the sound of the ball that the ball makes when it hits the ground? You, you, you. Yes, I yoom, think so. You, you. <laughs> See, what do I do here? Very nice. Stay in the center. You just have to. You know it. it. You just have to know it's gonna push you. Oh my God! What's happening? Where is my? Where's my track? Oh, what's happening? Oh, it stopped. Go to the bottom. Oh, yeah. there's a pause. There is a there is a pause and a start. Oh my god, here it comes again. Oh, you just have to. You have to move. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, black oh, ball. Oh, it was a it was a, a teleporter. Oh my gosh, it's I getting. I have to press <gasps> the button there. A lot harder. <laughs> I had to press the button there. Is Yump the official game of Youpers? <laughs> what? Okay. So go to go in to it. Go to Yump. Okay. Now do the first one. This is the ATR version. So it's like 90k versus like 25, I think. Oh, okay. So it's a lot bigger. So this may have more music. Enter code 232482 <laughs> for your chance to win. <laughs> Kindergarten. Kindergarten. That was the level you were on, I think. Uh, they all had titles. Oh, all the cool. Levels. What did I make? Two, um, five? Ah, I wasn't going to start at one. I was going to change the level. I guess you have to choose the level. That's okay. Oh, you can't choose. That is, that's the passcode of the latest level. Can you choose? Can you push three or four or? I don't know. Can is there you? a button to enter in passcodes? I mean, you can, oh no. No, it won't. In the beginning, you can only access one level. More levels become available as you reach oh, them. Oh, it only lets you choose the highest level you completed in your current uh, level of play. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, no, enter code. Look, zero through nine. Don't move, don't move. What? 
No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. there it is. There it is. That's not his code, though. I know. It didn't work. No. Two, three, two, four, eight, two. I'm trying to type it. It's just being very naughty. Kindergarten. There we go. Okay. Do you want to, want to start from there then? Yep. Okay. Excellent. With five lives. Nice. <laughs> So you can enter it on the title screen. That's you just have good. to type it. The joys of a keyboard. Mm -hmm. Is the music different? I think it is. It is. So the ATR has more music. Oh yeah, it's different. This, this automatically pushes you one way or the other. And you have to push back on it. Yeah. That's the thing. And pause and start. <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah, so it has a pause and a start. That one pushes you over too, which two. you want. Black hole. And you have to press the button there to get past that. Nice. It's faster yeah. moving. Yeah, it is faster moving. Johnny Walker, 367-871. 367-871. Thank you. Good stuff. Okay, let's see. Earthquake. The resolution is just enough <laughs> to play it as it gets there. Here. Oh. Ah. You have to go left. There you go. I know, but the. That's very awkward. <laughs> the direction changes when you go through the um, the portal. Yeah. So it's very difficult to. Uh... Nope. Keep it bright. Keep it bright. Not too bright. Not too bright. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that's intentional. I just assumed it, it was like a happy a, face. Looks like a magnet to me. I thought it was a happy face. What does it say for it? It's the ending. Yeah. It's not on here. It's, no. it's the end. Just a, a U. Uh, where's my end score? Where's my, there's my code. There mix, go. mix, 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 mix. 077581. We had lots of practice last time Thanks, with, the, um, with the uh, license plates. <laughs> Memorizing. Oh, numbers yeah! <laughs> the license with Vitoko's game. game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crossbow says they were not able to pass this one. Oh, uh, boy, you uh, have to move fast! Uh, uh, uh. Not able to pass this one. Mm -hmm. It is a lot of movement. Is challenging. It's a little tricky. A little tricky. A little tricky. You just have to think ahead quite a bit. Double jump. You have to do a double jump. Yeah. There's an arrow, but it was more than two. Good job. So, uh, 108962, piece of cake. Yeah, right. Is that what yeah, it's called? Right. Yep. Excellent. <laughs> Purple level. The music is similar each time, yeah. but it's not quite the same each time. See why I picked this game? Because <laughs> I love this type of game. Yeah. It's puzzly and a little bit mind-bending. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that was a teleport. I went through a hole. That was a teleport, was like, not a hole. Where am I? Yeah. Yeah, wow. teleport. Oh, it goes from a save point. Oh my god. Yeah. It, there's a bunch of teleports that are messing me up. 
Oh, it forces you through it. You ah. can't go between them. That's what's kind of screwing things up. It is. Where, where are they? Opposite. I, I it's opposite. Know where I... It's opposite. Oh, okay. It's completely opposite. So if you're at the bottom, you'll move to the top. Ooh, trippy. It is. Trippy, trippy. And done. Yeah, good stuff. I suppose you could use, oh, you could use a jump to avoid a tile. That's true. So mm. you could jump over those um, black holes. Fear play, 176606. so often you see some demo effect and think this looks so great why can't someone <laughs> make a game out of this effect and they finally did yes yes and Vivium, i agree <laughs> ah damn it you have to press the button yeah how many levels in total yeah 21 21 wow so lots of uh wow <gasps> oh that you don't want to be game over okay that's yeah, enough right? for now enough okay we don't want to give away all the levels no we'll, we'll play it again yeah um and we do have to move on. Mm -hmm. Amazing, amazing game. I Super love cool. that type of game. Yeah. Um, so, the next game we're going to be playing... Oh, never mind. Um, is Invader. Mm -hmm. This is by Ken Jennings. Mm -hmm. um, this is a new game. First posted July 31st, 2021. This build is from yesterday, I Oh, wow. just okay. updated it September 9th 10k game um, you can download it from his github site but it is linked from the Atari age forums so mm -hmm. go back left in the button left in the button uh, invader oh actually before you load it um, mm -hmm. this is a port of a game a c64 okay. game from 2019 by Darren Fold. That's nice so let's take a look at where he got the idea from it. Maybe you Ken want Jennings to run the version from before yesterday, Ken Jennings says. Bef before yesterday? I, I have played this version. Okay. And it works. So okay. it should be fine. Was there a, an issue that you found with this version? Okay, there we go. Because it seems to work fine. If you're happy with it, have fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If it works for me then okay so this is the c64 version mm -hmm. um and the person who made this game said i made a video game for the commodore 64. invader is a one or two player game played with one button one laser one invader and one life mm. uh, play cooperatively or competitively with a friend or face the invader alone um and then uh ken posted when he first posted said been working on this a while not this one. This is the C64 version. Yeah, yeah. Been working on this a while. I'm not going to have much time to work on it for the next few weeks. Now it seems to be stable. Tested on an Atari 800 and Altair emulators. I thought I would put it out for others to mess with. Uh, tested configuration is NTSC Atari 800 of 48K. Should run on anything. Let me know about issues. Yes, there is no sound yet. <laughs> and on the version we're playing, there is no sound. So... If you don't hear anything, it's because there's no sound. <laughs> and Ken wants you to know that as well. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Mike Soul? Yep. Hey, Mike. Oh, you missed the first game. You'll have to rewind later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's get into... Someone, C. Prosu, who was a first-time chatter, oh. uh, asked the question, how many kilobytes were related to the last The game? last one? Did yeah. I write it down? 20, 25. 25. That was for the um xex version we were okay. playing the atr i think was 90k L oh yes okay but it had the pal ntsc and more music okay for that one yes. so uh okay am i forth. starting yeah. yeah invader Ooh. darren folds 2019 commodore 64 oh i like it and Looks ken nice. jennings look at the color 2021 atari 8 bits yes well as we know the uh, Atari has more colors to choose from than the C64. Mm. 
Um, and he's he's upgraded a couple things. There's a lot more moving things in yeah, this one. Yeah, I can see even the moving backgrounds. There. Yes, a lot of moving backgrounds. Wow. Um, so now let me tell you how this is played because it's not traditional. Okay, okay. <laughs> There's no movement. There's mm -hmm. only the button. Um, the button fires, mm -hmm. but it also changes your direction of movement. So you you're just, constantly you're, moving. You're in a constant speed? Con constant state of moving back okay. and forth. Okay. And the button changes your direction, also fires. Okay. So there you go. You'll get used to it. It's okay. It's different. Once you get used to it, you'll be fine. Excellent. And it takes a bit to start up when you press the button. Yeah, it does, nice. a, it does a thing. <laughs> I like that. So there's the guy at the top you want to shoot. And he gets closer and closer to the bottom. Oh, not quite. And it takes a bit to wrap your mind around, Ugh. oh, I'm moving. When should I shoot? There you go. And when you shoot him, he goes further up in the sky. So you don't want to get it, let him get to the bottom or it's death for you. And after you shoot him a couple times, he will get faster. Oh, you're doing very well. Um, So in the August 29th update, it says some updates applied to the current version of GitHub. Colors should be more consistent between NTSC and PAL. The mothership on the title screen and game is now multicolor. Play testers list is updated for bugs, features, suggestions. Yes, there is no sound. Uh, September 9th, current build update on GitHub. Revised motion control by an array lookup based on NTSC versus PAL. Motion control values are scaled on PAL across five frames to match the apparent speed of NTSC. Um... Uh, and now he's going fast. Yeah. He's speeding up. He's mad. And today on the forums, level 42 said, I must say, or actually, uh, yeah, I must say the stars and the moving mountains succeed in trying to confuse the player. It does make it more challenging. It does a little, yeah. And Ken said, uh, yeah, Tenny is doing very well. No, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. He's coming down. He's coming too fast. Ah, oh, uh, so close. I, his speed has messed me up. Oh, he didn't go up that far. A little bit. Two two lines, I think he goes up. Uh, Ken says, I meant enough. to do that, or at least I hope so. The stars are bigger, brighter, flashier than the C64, so they're off-putting when trying to focus, especially when the mothership is moving fast. The mountains blow your focus, too. Makes it a bit harder to play. <laughs> and um, he's got the source code and uh, very detailed updates on his GitHub. So if you want to go there and uh, check out how we made the game, then you can go. Oh, he's going even faster. Oh, getting him up there. It's good. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. He's so fast. The colors look just <gasps> gorgeous in this. Mm. Uh-oh. <gasps> he's so fast. Oh, no. <laughs> I feel so tense. <laughs> he's coming it's... for me. Oh. Nice. <laughs> it backs up two lines, Ken says. Uh, now he's going really fast. I got 17,000 the first time I played it. <laughs> of course, really? I'm going to do much worse. Uh, when I played on the show. Uh, oh, my brain. Oh, no! Oh, he's getting no. close. Oh. <laughs> it's stressing me out so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, 21,000 lines of code assembled in four pass, 10,000 bytes written to the object file. This is a good candidate for a 10-liner. Actually, it is, because it the gameplay is very oh, oh, no. simplistic. No. Yeah, you can do this in the 2022 competition. No! Oh, Dead. get him! Get him! Oh, you got me! <laughs> Push. 10,000. Awesome. Oh, that's stressful. <laughs> so you don't even move the ship. No. No. Just one button. How does the two players work? 
Do you both play at the same time? We'll have to try well, we'll that try out. We'll try it out, yeah. Cool. <laughs> it's cool because you get a big version of the ship that you see before it takes off. The right amount between stressful and fun, yeah. <laughs> it takes a, a little bit for your brain to just kind of settle into the movements. I yeah, think. and the yeah. timings of the That's firing. Good, though. Got 17,000 the first yeah. round? My goodness, you must have kept him back. Very high on the screen for a very long time. Mm. This is a much bigger screen. shoots from your own gun, yeah. And they okay. bounce against each other. Oh, oh you can get passive-aggressive. Oh, that's going to be fun. Ugh. That's going to be fun. Doing much worse, like I said. Do you get more if it's higher in the sky? I think so. Oh, that's why my... I was like, why is my score not going up that much? But he was so low on the screen. That kind of makes sense. He has to be further up there to get a higher score. So you want to get him as high up. Because I'm... Yes, distance equals score. Higher up is higher score. That makes sense, because I, I was not hitting him as high up as you have been. So, And your score is almost at mine already. Pure skill. <laughs> and the thing is, it changes every time he gets faster. You have to recalibrate. Yeah. points up top then 500 in second row oh. minus 25 each row after that that makes sense because you get so much when you hit them on the upper rows yeah that makes sense well now i know how to what i need to do to get my score up it's better aiming yeah yeah <laughs> pretty much i mean you want to get them at it mm. as soon as possible Oh, the middle number at the bottom of the screen is the point value of the oh. third row. Okay. No, I'm going to do better next time. Well, find two players next time. No. <laughs> no I want to get a better score. Actually, I guess two player is the same thing. You're just fighting for score with a two player. Well, it depends if they double the number of enemies. I don't think so, are they? Isn't it just one or... Because you only get half the score. Or is it one score? Oh, it is no, one it's score. Two scores. There's one on each side, I'm sure. Each player has their own score. That makes sense to me. now it is it's really hard to predict it and almost dead It's like playing Space Invaders, but always against the like, speedy last alien. <laughs> yes, <it is. laughs> now, that pretty much covers it, I think. <laughs> Ooh. Ken Jennings says 10. Fastest speed. So you're at the fastest speed. Yes! <laughs> Domination! <laughs> 19,651. Nice. nice. I would be... Got within one of the highest. 
Oh, damn it. Mm. It was so fast. It was like skipping frames. It yeah. was like... Skipping <laughs> frames. <laughs> it was. One left. Almost reset the mum ship. What? What? Reset? Got, Got to 79, 79 hits. hits. Nice. Oh, so close. Um, so do two players now? Or yeah, no? let's okay. do two. So do you press button? Oh, press button, press button, press button. Ah, that's, that's why, why there's it's a slow. delay. Okay. Ugh. You're screwing me up. Well, that's unfortunate. I can't. It's so hard with two. You're getting in my way. You're getting in my way. Because <laughs> I can't predict what's going on. I'm not even sure who's shooting <laughs> half the time. I'm like, is that my bullet? No, I think that's my bullet. Oh, it gets fast. Get on your own side, by the way. <laughs> no, I want to dominate the whole board. draw a line in the middle of the room and you stay on your side and I stay on my side. Get, get, get. <laughs> oh my God, this is infuriating. <laughs> it's almost like you just, sometimes you get lucky. Oh, I can't even move because you pushed right against I me. I, I'll leave you some space. <laughs> So much harder to aim. Oh, I'm getting faster now. <laughs> this is really funny. It's brutal. It's a good option for the game, but it's brutal. Enough, though. Nope. <clears throat> I don't think I've gotten any in forever. <laughs> My timing's way while. off. There we go. Recall your bullets in this, just like in Space Invaders. When you press the button, your bullet comes back to you. So you don't have to wait for it to go off the screen. No, thank goodness. I hate, I hate that in games. Yeah. Oh you're my like... God, it's painful. Get them fast. So the score... Like, our scores added up should be the equivalent of one person playing the game. Because there's no differentiation between a one-player game and a two-player game. If I'm understanding correctly. We just have two bullets. <laughs> they can't get by us! <laughs> That's actually a, not a bad tactic when they're low because you can recall your bullet. Well, and it's going really fast. Maybe it's bad tactic. For a while, though. Was. <laughs> I don't know about this. I think I'm gonna aim. Oh, there <gasps> we go. So is that the loop? That that's the uh, redo. So that's what I almost got to. Oh, My score would have gone up way more. Oh yeah. If I was able to do it again. 
was one away from that. Oh my god. Get out of here. <laughs> I can't do anything when you're that close. I know, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> when I block your path. Yep, 80 speed reset. Yep. Track and field. So it completely resets and then you just do the whole thing over again. So there's a good chance of getting back up to the top like we just did. Yeah, at the beginning. Okay. Get, can you <laughs> stay on your own side of the couch? <laughs> there's the line on the floor. You stay on your side, I stay on mine. Matt does Matt? not reset the height. No, it doesn't. You have to bounce it back up there. Right, yeah. So we did. No, yeah. Failing. <laughs> I'm feeling sloppy now. I'm just like, yeah, eh, no. nah, button hey. mashing. <laughs> button mashing game. Oh, we get it back up there. He's getting faster now, too. interesting because the mountains stop and then they change directions and then they stop and then change directions really and you're always moving so it's like this swaying constant swaying of the screen <laughs> Racting as one bullet we're traveling together for a bit there. Mm -hmm. There's advantages to that for sure. It's like a double ship in Galaga. Yeah, it's cool. over i know <laughs> you can't really look at anything no. it just gets all blurry uh-oh 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 getting really fast now again The max speed that he set it to is pretty much like the max speed it should ever get. Yeah. Beyond that is like insanity. Oh yeah. And he's always in, he's gonna be low at that point anyway as well. Actually, that's not a bad tactic. When he's fast and low, is like fast Just, firing. Yeah. It's harder when he's up you top. Can't you don't really recall the bullet, so. Close to you. Oof. He's invading my personal space. Yeah. <laughs> You're okay. invading my personal space. <laughs> oh, reset again. Um, I think the two player is too easy. Do you think so? Yeah. Because you have double the bullets. We've looped it twice. Oh, I know. And it's and it's going to be the same thing over and over again. It is a touch easy, I think, on the double. Yeah. Two players, single player is good, though. Good stuff. Oh. Wow. Oof. And, and, you know, mildly stressful. Yep. We'll let him I get to see the bottom. Him, I want to see him push us off the screen. Yeah, he's going to push both of us <laughs> off. Uh, the mountains like are the same play knocking a glass off the mountains head. are the same playing field as the c64 but oh. since mode 6 is 20 characters there's two screens worth of mountains for the atari so i mm -hmm. decided to scroll it oh sweep <laughs> nice game over okay. very, very awesome nice. very nice really fun uh shooter game i'd like that a lot be right back switching computers <laughs> okay crossbow um and very cool title screen. Like everything about this is top quality. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
and just all the scrolling that's going on on the title screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, really fun. Good stuff. Thanks, mm -hmm. Ken Jennings. Boom. Boom. So, now on to game number three. Is it? Joystick, there we go. Oh, you're, you're very excited about this one. I am. So, Bruce Lee, Return of Fury. It is a new update. Don't load it yet. Nope. Um, uh, 2021. It's by Ute and Phantomas. Uh, 32k game. Okay. This build is from September 2nd, so a week ago. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep, pretty new. Um, so let me show you. Uh, I think this is. Let me show you the C64 version of this game. Okay. First. Okay. Um, and I mean, it's going to be very similar, but this is where it kind of came from, I guess, if you could say. <gasps> This is an alteration of the original title screen. Mm. So this is the C64. It is not, it's not a new game. Mm. It's kind of new maps for an old game. So it's kind of a hack, but they've also altered um, a bunch, a bunch <laughs> of what happens in the game too. A little bit of it. Um, it's done by DMX. to the game so uh, your goal in the game is to get all the lanterns and see the lanterns hanging up and blinking mm. and you have two opponents um, the green guy um, oh, what's his name I have it here somewhere and the uh, ninja um, they keep respawning it looks like yeah you can you can kick them into pits you can get them hitting things that go across the screen and um, I played this game so much on the C64. Yeah. The original one. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's one of the few games that I that I beat. Oh, really? On the C64, yeah. It doesn't take long, but uh, there's, there's a number of screens. Um, so this was first posted about in 2019. Yamo, that's it, Yamo. Um, we all know that by Phil Sand. We all know that Bruce Lee was programmed uh, for the Atari 8-bit by Ron Fortier graphics by Kev Kelly Day, and then converted to C64 and other computers. That's mm. a, um, And in 2013, there was spiritual successor, Bruce Lee 2, then now released for PC. In 2015, it was converted to the C64. And then on March 1st of 2019, this game was released for the C64, Bruce Lee Return of, the F of Fury. And... Um, Compared to 2015 Bruce Lee 2, 2019 Bruce Lee Return of the Fury seems to have used original code and graphics. Therefore, I think a version for the Atari 8-bit would be easier to make. So it was started as, hey, how about we make an Atari version since a C64 version was made. And then I will get into the details of this as we play it. Um, so let's get to the Atari version. Okay. So if you want to load it up, this button. Yep, there we go. Programming, right? Those are the original programmers. Gotcha. And then Return of Fury mod DMX and then Return of Fury Atari version Ooh. Ute and Phantomas, if nice. that's how you pronounce it. So they haven't put a title screen in it, but a lot of people have been working on title screens gotcha. in the forums. Gotcha. Cool. So go for it. So mode single player. No. Let's uh, go up. Um, go down to just single player. Yes. But then go down to Yam. No, go up. Single player. Yep. And go to Yam Yamo and make that the player. You okay. can make it so you control the sumo wrestler, the other person. Uh, yeah. Cool. So put on player. Player? Um, and we'll just keep those normal because you can have unlimited lives. And oh, we'll I probably see. put it to unlimited lives after. Okay. Um, so go for it. So 
There you go. You've already figured it out. <laughs> so standing still is punching. Running is kicking. So those are the two moves. Up is a straight up jump. Up and to the right, up and to the left is a jump up. And you can duck. He gets very flat like a cat when he ducks. It's so funny. And you can climb up that ladder. That's what ladders look like. I'm guessing those are bats. Those were in the original one too. No blinky eyes. First round, fight! Unlimited falls. So, Ute posted on March 2nd, 2019. Creating new graphic levels graphically is not that hard. If I remember correctly, <laughs> there are four character sets that change as the game progresses. Each screen accesses a different character set, which is dynamically loaded depending on the screen loaded. Accessing the table that draws each screen is pretty easy, just a matter of changing which character set or what index into that character set. How do I jump over? You do it very skillfully. Not easy. I've been told this game is much harder than the original. I, I just end up running into it. Like, I can't no, figure no. out how to... Oh, to there. Plan the arc. There, there you go. go. You did kind of go through it, so... Oh, God. That's really hard. Up into the... Up there you go. Practice your your leaps. Rendered Ghost says, Oh, no, I'm very late. Oh, well. Hi. Hi, Rendered Ghost. Didn't he... Ah. Didn't this sequel feature the upgraded graphics? Yeah, there's... No! No, go up, up, up. Ah. They're going to kick you into the spikes. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's so hard. 91 of 94. Are you going to read all this? No, you can, you can read it. <laughs> it's hard. It's challenging. The challenge would be reprogramming the level engine. There's a table that records which lamps are collected, and each time uh, Bruce changes a screen, it accesses this table to see that a particular screen should do something such as... What did you die on? That oh. with the spikes, because I'm trying to jump, but it's Practice not... Practice your jumps first. <laughs> there you go. It's oh. diagonal. It's really hard. I've made a disassembled source... No. no. Oh, oh my gosh. Cap. That is partially commented. I can dig it up if anyone's interested. I don't have a lot of free time, but I'd be so interested terrible. in working on this if others are interested as well. And then... Uh, Mikalainen? Mikianen? Mikianen. Um said, right, I had a chinwag with DMX, the author of the new C64 version, and here's what he had to say. I have his permission to post this, and he invites thoughts from any would-be developers. I'm currently playing... Stop it. Um, I'm currently playing the Atari version of Bruce. It's interesting to see what differences there are. They feel so similar. Playing? Mm -hmm. Read. Read? No, no, I'm... Somebody calling you, too? Yeah. Oh my goodness, spammers tonight. Friday night, they're like, everyone's home. Uh, I'm currently playing the Atari version of Bruce. He's talking about the original one. I'm interested to see what differences there, there are. They feel so similar, yet so different, that it's strange they're done by the same coder. Anyway, I'm just not keen to push the source code out right now. It's not, not really, it isn't really mine. But on the other end, it feels like mine after all the hard work. I'm still not quite done with it. How about this? Can anyone in Atari Age produce a disassembly of the Atari game that also can be reassembled into the original testable binary? Because I'd be willing to label it for you with what I've got. I can also provide the new Return of Fury maps done in tiled and map packing tool after this. Oh, fell down. Terrible. 88, get better. Um, then on March 9th, Ute started merging his recompiled version of Atari Bruce Lee with DMX's updated code, and the ball started rolling on the Atari version of Return of Fury. Agreed, more pixel precise than Ninja's code. Oh, yeah. The current graphic looks like the original, not the updated graphics, Captain Classic says. Yeah, very uh, a lot of the original are used. I'm not sure about those mountains. I'm just going to keep dying on these spikes. <laughs> Maybe we'll set it to unlimited lives next. I can't. I can't get back back over them. It's terrible. Yeah, unlimited lives is definitely uh, useful for this game, especially just to get used to the. That is the setting for game reviewers. Yeah. Game reviewers. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um. So DMX played this version. He said. Um, 
Hi, I just tested it with cheats. I had to. It's so tough. All the timings are off compared to what I'm used to. Did you set it to unlimited? No. Oh. I just restarted. Oh, set it to unlimited. Oh, well, it's too late now. Okay. Um, I could fall into the pit. Um, I had to. It's so tough. I managed to complete it. I even have a video of it. Anyway, it's very much playable, even if the timing's off compared to the C64 version. But that's no big deal. I'm just learning this version. The hardest room is the multi-floor light part, third near the end. It's practically impossible without cheating. I recommend slowing down these floors a li lights a notch. A hint for the floor lights is to keep jumping. If you don't, don't run if you're not 100% sure what you're doing. Tough, eh? No. No. <laughs> okay, unlimited. Uh, great work. If you need the music, I'll be happy to do them in Raster Tracker for you. I've got all the notes. Here's another C... Oh, won't say that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't go. Don't go anywhere. Okay. I figured this out on my own. I did not read it, even though it was posted. Mm -hmm. um, I was like, oh, I'm going to jump in the pit, right? It takes you to a secret screen. Oh, wow. And... You can get an extra life here if you need to, but oh, it didn't. It didn't give me the extra life. Oh, not that I get them anyway. You have to jump all the way over. No, nope, you didn't jump all the way over. <laughs> oh, that's really weird. Didn't think you'd have to go all the way yeah. over. There you go. There we go. Lights up DMX. Nice. The uh, person who made the um, C64 version of this game. And then you like get an extra life by jumping into the, the name or something. I can't remember. Let's see what it says. Mm. Here, now you can do it. Um, if you jump far left in the first screen, you'll enter a dark room. Move to the left, then jump left, then you'll pick up a lamp. Oh, we don't need the extra lives. Mm. Um, and then get an extra life, and the DMX will light up. Mm. Now, if you did it after picking up the first two lamps, you'll get another extra life when you pick them up. So you can start with six falls. Your other left. <laughs> Let's do the unlimited yes. Ugh. Right into it. Because, it, man, the timing's awful. It's challenging. No, well, it's, it's... Hitting the diagonal is part of my problem. I remember playing this on the C64, the original one, and just trying to jump everywhere I could, and trying to jump as yeah. far as I could over the over the ledges and going right to the edge of it. I don't know how to double jump that. You have to keep going diagonal. No, no, but I I am. Like it's not. Oh. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I guess so. Nice. No, get up. Oh, but you got the lamps. Okay. Need a CX4, CX40 for diagonals. Uh, you have to go right to the edge with this one. Oh, God. Nope. Oh. <laughs> You're dead. There you go. You play. Okay. <laughs> yeah, jumping continuously if you hit the diagonal the whole time. Oops. Yeah, there you go. And dead. Why are you giving it to me? Oh, it shouldn't it, it should still be set to uh player. It's just one player. No. Did you set it to two? No. Oh no. Okay. Mm hmm? Yamo? No, you want two players. Mode? No, no, two players just alternating. Is that what you want? No, I don't want alternating. Huh. I want you to play. Oh Yamo oh I see. Alternating just goes back and forth. Hmm. Actually, that may not be a bad idea. If we, have, if we have unlimited... It doesn't matter. I can... Am I supposed to get you? No, we should do unlimited. We should do that. Are we playing together? Is this co-op? I'm confused. Let me reset. Are we playing co-op? Um, yes. But we'll play two players. With Yano? With each of us trading off. Oh, I gotcha. Right? Yeah. 
because when one of us dies, mm. then the other person can play and Goes do their back best. And forth. Yeah. yeah, that'll be much more interesting for the other person. And like, nope, you can practice your jumps. Oh, that's a little bit easier. You can get on that ledge a bit, and you can kick the ninja's ass if you want. <laughs> No, not me. No, no, no. I thought, are we, are we cooperative? Yes. So, Don't kick me. <laughs> no. That ninja's ass. We're, oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Yes, kick him, Tanya. <laughs> no, Metal Lunar. <laughs> not allowed. <laughs> oh, I went too far. That's now fun. it's your turn. Yeah, that's much more. <laughs> also fun to beat each other on the, on the first screens boot to the head oh that's hilarious are you canadian um that was a canadian uh Certain. group called four on the floor and that's one of their oh, skits yeah. ah. it's called boot to the head i can't remember the premise of it <laughs> right into it. oh my god i thought i was playing the green guy <laughs> i was like what is going on here Really nice moon up above there. Yeah. Oh, there, I got it. Oh, I think I'm going to die. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> bad timing. Mm. Nice. Oh, here. Oh, I can never get back over that thing. Oh, well, you've got the uh, oh, places at the bottom. Interesting. Hey, 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 now. Bleep. He just falls in the pit. No. Is there anything there? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Go, 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 go. There we go. Oh, I got to show you something on um, mm -hmm. uh, your character. Oh, my God. <gasps> I'll, I'll do it. The little green guy, go, if you press down, he goes, Mow. Yeah, mow, it's cute. Mow. On the C64, it sounds more like, Mow. Why? Mow, why? Mow. Uh, something's messed up. What? There's no lantern. No, you got it already. But how come there's no escape route? Uh. There's no there's no ladder for me to escape. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> bug, bug, and then two player. Go. Uh oh. Oh no. That's not good. <laughs> that is very bad. Mm -hmm. Ed Gruberman. <laughs> Hi, Nutty. Ed Gruberman, you fail to understand the essence of Taekwon Leap. <laughs> Approach me so that you may see. Who to the head? <laughs> Have you seen that skit? No. <gasps> oh, which, what skit? which skit? It's what? from a comedy, Canadian comedy troupe called Four on the Floor. Oh, Four on the Floor. At least I floor. think they're Canadian. I don't know what you're going to do now. Uh, like, it's supposed to be a ladder up. Is it... Just invisible? No. There's nothing you can do. Just run into the spikes. I'm just gonna fight you. Fight this guy. Wow, 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 wow. Invisible lantern? Maybe. Maybe try and go get the lantern that. Ugh. That is there or not there. Could be. The only Canadian comedy troupe I knew was Kids in the Hall. That's a good one. That's true for most. That's a tough leap. Yeah, it is. This one's going to be just as bad. Ah! Oh, because uh, you can't you got leap the from there. Okay, so try and get the lantern. Oop, I didn't make it. <laughs> See if the lantern is there, but invisible. Oop, I didn't make it. Oh, so close. SCTV, yes, that's yes, true. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, just made it. Good job. Spiky spikes. Okay. I'm not allowed to get the lanterns. No. This is 
so annoying. He's coming at all times. No! Please, please, uh, fight that guy if you can. Oh my god, what hit, what killed me? I don't know. Him? You? Arr. Arr. At least I don't have to get the lanterns again. Should just run through. There we go. So far all the mechanics are the same as the original. Land on your head, squish. Oh, hit me. You can only take so many hits, and I can't remember how many. Get down the hole. Get down the hole. Get down the hole. <laughs> Follow me to death. Ah. Hey, Mimi. Into death. I always found the movement in this game so janky. Like, you kind of trip and stumble, and it's exactly the same on the C64 as it is here. Like, you kind of start running and you trip a little bit. Oh, 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 good. Oh, that's too late! Oh, oh my god! Okay, I should have died there. That's a, that's a bug, for sure. Oh, oh I see. I saw it right when I was jumping. Oh no! It's like there's a spike. Okay, try and get the invisible lantern. There's no invisible invisible lantern. <laughs> there might be. It doesn't exist. Strange brew had a small cult following in the nineties. Oh yeah. It did. It's a very silly movie. <laughs> very silly. Uh oh, I do have to climb up here. Bob and Doug. Yeah. I have to say, Kids in the Hall was the best. Was the best. Yep. These are the Good days day, I eh? know, I know. These are the days I know. Oh, no, bad jump. Squish. Or terriers. Terriers are my very favorite breed. <laughs> They're cute and cuddly. Easy dogs to feed. <laughs> I don't remember that one. There was, on Much Music, they had a day where they had a spotlight on Kids in the Hall. Did, oh, yeah, yeah. A music spotlight, and they just played all the songs oh, from yeah. the episodes of Kids in the Hall. And it was They're glorious. They're all so silly. They're all so silly. Now, how am I going to do this? Oh, you just follow the edge over there. Oh, or you can do that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Nice. Oh, the Red Green Show was good. My, I, I always love that show. It's quite good, yeah. Uh, it, my, it, like, my dad loved it. Loved Red Green. Yeah. And, uh, and it was just, it was really good. It was such a simple show, and it was really uh, funny. It, almost made it. It was very simple. Just a grunty d guy that liked... A guy who complained and hid from his wife. That yeah. was pretty much it. Yeah. With his with his friends. Yeah. Okay. To get this right at the edge. There we go. And squish. Oh, poked me. His sword. SCTV2. Farm film blowout. Oh. SCTV was, was a mixed bag. Um, there was a lot of good, and there is some not so good on it as well. Uh, I found Kids in the Hall to be quite uh, a good hit to miss ratio. Like I would say 90%. Was good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, SCTV uh, was like uh, some of it was eh, pretty tedious to get through. Yeah. More hit and miss. Yeah. I kind of like what SNL is really like S SCTV. Yeah. I feel like yeah, I don't know. And I, I'm sure there were okay. some absolutely terrible... Um, oh, yay, jump! No, it's not there. Not there. Glitchy glitch. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. Last lantern on this level. Two lanterns. And they 
There's the exit. It's treat time. Yum, yum, it's treat yum, time. Yum. Ooh, oh, thank you, Metal Lunar. Did you hear that? Oh, yes. yeah. They perked up. Did you hear that? Ah, oh, goddamn. You have to kill yourself. Or I'll come get you. It's treat time. It's treat time. Seems this build does not include improved sprites. Oh. Not yet, I guess. Because you um, want some treaties. Oh, now what is this about? Do you want some treats? I forget. Is I see lanterns. What? Is there a boss? A pause? A boss. A boss? N yeah, not in this game, though. No. Not in this level. Ah, oh my god. Oh, okay, that's what it was. You have to. Oh, and they still are activated. Try leaving the screen using the ladder down. Maybe that will oh, reset it. Yes. Yeah, that's worth doing. Oh, can you go down? Get out of here, stupid guy. I don't think you can go down on ladders, actually. You gonna hit it? I can't go down, but... Hit it? Hit the bell! Hit the bell! Did hit you it. try and go down the ladder? Hit the bell! Hit it! Make it ring! Make it ring! <laughs> He's hitting it, but it's not ringing. <laughs> he touches it and looks up at me. Like, this is good enough, huh? Oh, what? There they you pushed go. me back! There you go. Okay. Good job. Try and go down the ladder? I don't think you can go down on I think it's blocked. Yeah, I don't think you can. That one's blocked. You can only go up them. Oh my god, there's two. Bug! Oh my god, look at it! He's flying! What's going He's flying! He's a flying ninja! It's, um, he what is that movie? Bug. Um, where they run across the rooftops. Crouching Tiger. Hidden yes! Dragon. It's going all Crouching Tiger. <laughs> well, I found two bugs now. This is Yomp's hidden game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See this stumbling he does? Uh, it was stumbling. Makes it. Ah, it's not much room. Okay. Now I can get them all. Well. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was close. Mm. It, it hit still my have, head. You still have the yump cart on the panel there. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't change it at all today. Oh no. So there's Invader. <laughs> and there's Bruce. Uh, oh. Sorry. Happens. Somebody made fun of me in the forums today. Oh no, for always forgetting to switch me. it? Yes. Oh no. Terrible. He does all the work of creating the graphic too. Like puts a lot of time into making that little Sometimes graphic. Sometimes it's easier than others. Well, yeah. Because people have them already. But still. And then to like yeah, make know. it and have it queued up and then forget it is, is I mean, always I, a pain. I, I use them in the promos so that at least they did yeah, get some that's use. True. That's true. Oh. oh, okay. It's open. Oh my god. This mm -hmm. is not a fun level. And dead. Okay, you have to kill yourself quick. Quick, quick, quick. No, just run right into it. Thank you. Painful. <laughs> Since you can't play, so. <sighs> so mm, hard, almost. this level. Never got to set the the red green show. What would you compare it to? Oh, geez. Uh. Nothing like anything. Oh, what do I do now? Uh, There's nothing left. Hit the other end? I guess so. <gasps> no, uh, you have to take a step or two, I think, in between. Yeah. It's... The Red Green Show is a self-aware show. It's, it's a show. Like, they know they're on a show doing a show. Yeah. It's like 
but it's not a skit show. They're kind of living their lives, but they're like a group of men that meet together and invent no, things he, and he... fix things. Yeah. But it's a comedy show. What did what, what do I do? You have to. Did you jump up when you hit the middle? Uh, there's nothing left in the middle. It's like half sitcom, half sketch. Um, yeah, it's not really sitcom or sketch, but it's self-aware sketch, I guess. Yeah. They're not real people. They're... What do I do? Did you jump up in the middle, though? Yeah, those are the lanterns. Go down, jump up. Oh. Or bugs? Possibly. This might be the end. This might be the... Buggy bug version. I'll try and go to the middle again. Looks uh, like the door to the left should open. Yeah, but yeah. you have to do something, obviously. I think because I died, it got confused like here. I don't know. Definitely report this to the developer. Jump up. Yeah. Go down. Almost got my foot. Rip, rip. Squish like a cat. Squish that cat. Um, mm, I don't know. Run into the far wall. I'll try again. It is like a mock sitcom. Uh, play one player and just switch off when you die. Mm, yes, that would be better. Should I do it again? Does everybody want me to try again? <laughs> and go through it all again? I mean, it didn't take that long. So, do you want me to do it? Yeah, oh, please, please die. Restart. Please die. I have to die? Um, we, I want to try it one more lives. time. We should restart it. Yeah. And then just I play player to, one. Um, try and get to player the player one and two. I want to try and get to the left. Okay. See if I can run through that. So painful that you have to die every time. Yeah. Yeah, the play. thing the thing was he could fix anything with a duct tape. Yeah. He didn't really fix it. It was pathetic. It, there was a lot of... Um, sketches of people you know injuring themselves and yeah 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 mix of fake jackass maybe no but no not, i would say it's, it, it was almost like um a fix it show but really yes. bad like a like a <laughs> sketch comedy of a guy who was trying to fix things but like kind really. of like a this old house but really bad like that's the only way i could really no, jump. i can't get through no? that no. it should open when the lanterns in yeah, our grab. <laughs> yep. Okay. Play it single. Single, single. Yeah, there you go. If it ain't broke, you're not trying. <laughs> yeah. It was like... If the ladies can't find you handsome, they might as well find you handy. That's... That, that was his tagline. That's his tagline. Yeah. Ugh. What was... Tim the Toolman Taylor. Oh, show. yeah, kind of. I mean, that was a sitcom, but shades of that. But shades of that, yeah. Tool time, yeah. Tool time from Home Improvement, but as an entire show, but, but better. not. Yeah. yeah. Home Improvement, exactly. Like. But he was not really a handyman. He was like a just a guy. He was just like yeah, like your average like. Middle-aged guy, like who thinks he he knows how to do things and tries to fix things and fails all the time. And hey, I thought you were supposed yeah. To do that. And and it was kind of like a community access TV show. Yes, yeah, yeah. And his his nephew ran the TV show. Yeah, and his nephew was a nerd, yeah. you know, with the the cheesy glasses and the whole thing. What? Take control of him. He's I'm not kicking my ass. No, I know. No, please, but I'm not in. I'm not in control of him. Am I? Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not in control of him. Oh, I thought I... Oh, oh my god. that was glitchy. Another bug. <laughs> bug. Timestamp. Bug. Was it? I need to, like, make a thing that puts bug on the screen. That's that's another good... Um, like hit a button. No, I'll get the, the chat to do something oh. that puts a big bug <laughs> over or top of our faces. Or something, yeah, that's yeah, That's another yeah. one, too. That's yeah, a really yeah. good... Um, a bug or a feature that kept you from dying. That's agreed. Yeah, it did keep me from dying. Ah, 
Wikipedia describes the show just like this conversation is going. The Red Green Show is essentially a cross between a sitcom and a sketch comedy series yeah. and is a parody of home improvement, do-it-yourself, fishing, and other outdoors shows. Yeah. The Red Fisher Show, which I've never heard Red of. Red Fisher Show. Yeah. Um, and he had a lot of TV shows before that. He did. He was a very well-known Canadian comedian. Yeah. But I think this was probably this his, his big thing. biggest show because it, it it just yeah it worked really well for his type of comedy and yeah. and the fact that he was kind of spoofing all ah, those those eh. home improvement shows that were really popular at the time the show came out right. He had a, a sketch comedy show with his wife before that show. Yeah. Um, called the Smith and Smith yes. show, I think it was called, something like that. Before that, he had a sitcom with his kids and his wife. Really? Yeah. It was terrible. Was it? Terrible. The sketch show was a bit better, but the, the Red Green show was like miles, oh, miles yeah. better. The concept was better. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because I on, vaguely, I vaguely remember his, I think, original show. His sketch show. Yeah. Yeah. He's tripping. Stop tripping. Look, see, he trips. <laughs> it's like part of the game. It's so weird. I would say there's a really weird fascination with. Stop sketch shows in Canada yeah like even from like you can't do that oh on television you know what I mean yeah I think it all comes from SCTV Monty Python you think so because it's British and there's just the British sensibility of <gasps> another Maybe. another bug the bug yeah <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Red Green have the always had the faint sound of chainsaws in the background, no matter if that made <laughs> yes. sense or not? <laughs> yes. Think so. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh. oh, I think you're right. That's so funny. Yeah, there's always sound yeah. in the background of tools. Go, go, go! Ugh. You have to anticipate it a bit more. Like you have to. Oh, <gasps> you touched it. No. And they're saying I used to watch Gary Shandling on pay cable. Gary Shandling is... Oh, he's pretty brilliant, yeah. yeah. Go, go, go. Oh, oh my god. I, I should have died there. You, I don't know how you didn't. I think that was a glitch. <laughs> you have to kind of do that. Oh my god, the timing is so tight in this game. Mm -hmm. This is definitely like... Oh, you think Bruce Lee was hard? Well, here's a game that's much, 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 much harder. <laughs> It is hard. Oh my uh, god, the green guys. These guys are so much harder <laughs> in this game. I have to contend with them now. Yeah. Was the original game buggy? No. no. So I'm not sure. They have, I believe they've had to alter the, um, the, uh, the, <laughs> the game engine a bit for this. The original is relatively bug free. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't notice. I don't remember any bugs in yeah. the C64 version. I mean, I didn't play the Atari version because I was not an Atari person when I was younger. I had a C64. Oh, catch the edge! Yeah! Yay. But now having... Uh, no, I'm supposed to. I need to you? do the other side. Oh. Now having an Atari, I think I would have been very happy with an 8-bit Atari. Yeah. If I grew up with one and had friends who had one, yeah. I knew nobody, nobody who had an Atari 8-bit computer or even heard of one. Mm. I, I don't remember even being mentioned. No, no. I only knew the, the VCS. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Grand Trooper, thank Yay, you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. How many months? Can you see? Can you look at the chat? I can't see it. 34 months, Ground Trooper. Wow. wow. <laughs> That's insane. Ah! Ah! The game does this. Like, that's part of the game, is yeah. this weird kind of you catch on things. Tree it's, that you, yeah. It's so strange. Like, your, yeah. foot, your foot trips on things. 
and it's part of the game. Oh, Atari was more expensive than the C64 forever, I think. They actually yeah. got into a price war. Yeah, and then I read or watched something about the Atari that they just went, no, we're not, we're not part of this price war. We're, we're, we're the premium one. Yeah, interesting. And we're not playing these games. Where's the last one? Oh, it's no, there. It's open. Oh. Look, he trips. Stop it! Look, see, he goes, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> Okay. This was not the problem one, was it? No. No, you just have to run back and forth, and then... And then you jump. You have to... Oh. <gasps> mm. But it keeps... Oh, it doesn't keep the doors open. You have to do it all in one go. Yeah. The yeah, S800 was a lot more expensive at first, and then Vitogo says, I never saw C64 in my country by that time. Oh. Yeah, it just depends on, I think, where it was sold and marketed. And Yeah. I, I knew way more people with... Commodores. Oh, everybody had a Commodore here. In in Canada, then then Atari computers. I'm I'm not saying there were people who had them, but that was it, ah, it was either oh. Apple or Commodore. What? Oh, I felt like you were yeah. safe there. Yeah, it was all. It Apple was all and Apple Commodore. or Commodore. Oh, there. Yeah. So that so you got that, but it doesn't open. It should open. Do I have to go back and do something? I don't think so. I don't see any of their lights. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. I think I think that's a mistake. But the yeah. Apple II was a thing in my area. Yeah, I, yeah. I remember a lot of a lot Apple IIs of, of and a lot of Com Commodores. Uh, all the schools had apples. Yep, all the schools here had apples too. Um, I think that it was well marketed to the schools. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. Ah. Ah. Ah! It's coming for me! Run! <laughs> okay. So. Maybe I didn't hit it right. I won't. Yeah. I, I don't you, know. You, you didn't run through it. I'll have to it? review the footage of. Review the footage. Okay. Those dudes up there. Yeah. Okay, so I can't climb. Oh, I can do this. Oh. I don't remember doing that in the original. So you have one. to jump down and then run across and get on the other one. Immediately. <laughs> and then go down and then get that lantern to turn it off. For Let's sure. See. Okay. Or well, maybe it doesn't turn it off. What just happened? Oh, now I can climb up. Uh, oh, you can? I think so, yeah. Ah, yeah. stop. Miss Command, I had a 2600, then a C64. I spent yep. much more time on the C64. Yeah, I had C64, then a 386, 486. Yeah. Pentium, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Cetera, cetera. Nostalgic says, my friends and I generally had a mix. Some Atari, some C64, some Apple. Some with home consoles. Atari, Intellivision, ColecoVision. Get out of here. Oh! Oh, damn it. Oh, cool. Look at that. Very nice. This looks like a level from the original. Yeah, Almost it's exactly. beautiful. I also really like that oh, powder blue cool. color. Yeah. That's really cool. Can you go upstairs? No. Yeah. Oh, you can. I kind of jump. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so funny. I think Japan was MSX. Yeah. What was it? What was before that? Mm -hmm. In Japan? Yeah. Mm, for home computers? And then Ground Trooper says I had a 2600, then an 800, then an Apple IIe. And then I jumped into IBM. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know how anybody can complete this in one, in one go. I only had the Apple IIe or G? In school, lots of lo logo and organ trail. <laughs> <laughs> yep, lots of logo. Oh my god. Oh, oh, you can go back and forth. Oh, okay. I'll just go up this way. Oh, no, you can't do that. No? Not the top? Well, you have to go all the way to the top, but mm. here I can just jump across. So I'm not going to go. You have that lantern right above you there. Yeah. Yep. And then this one. Might be one more on the, the door screen. opened on the upper, upper oh, good. top side there, I Did think. Did it? Yep, on the very top. Now I have to go back around to this. Don't punch me. No! Oh, so bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's one at the top. I can get up. Top there. Oh, I tripped. Oh, I made it anyway. Oh, no, there's a ladder up at the top there. Yeah, that just goes back and forth. 
a lattice right at the top. I don't know if I can reach it, though. Where do I go? Go back. It looked like on the other screen something happened. Did something change there? Well, yeah. But what? It's in here? Nope. Nope. There's no ladders. Hmm. Just, everything's closed. Oh my god. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, they can't jump, though. They're very stupid. Uh. I mean, the bottom is open on the bottom right. Yeah. Looks like there's a lattice up there. Do things go through here? Mm, nope. I'm going to go to the bottom right here. That, yes, of course. Yeah, poke me there. Oh! Oh, it's a whole other screen. What the hell? I thought I came from the right. Mm. Um, Darcy had a TRS-80. Oh, yeah. Um, and then he got um, a PC. Oh, he had a Commodore 64 as well. Yeah. And I think he bought it because everybody else had a C64. Um, I got mine ind independently of knowing anybody else with one. Mm. I don't know why we bought that particular computer, like as opposed to another one. Because mm. I don't think I knew anyone with one. Okay, now something should open up. I bet it's the lattice that yeah. came down. Oh, <gasps> there. there. Mike still said, I had the same computer as Darcy, I think. Mm. Yep. It took a, once I got into uh, the TI-99, but I, I didn't find what to do with it. Mm. And Dan says, I programmed on ah, the TI-99 for an extended basic. Mm. Oh, oh sorry. Lattice there. This no. man did a lot of Zork on C64. Yep, I played a bunch of Zork. It's not. I didn't get too far in Zork. I can't remember which. I think I probably played Zork the most. I don't know. Zork. Why did it no. do? It's a text adventure game. Is it? Yep. Oh, Stop it. I th I've heard of that, yeah. yeah. No, I didn't have any text adventure games. I had, no. uh, what was it? The mansion one? The Maniac Mansion. Maniac Mansion. It's kind of like a. I remember the that. successor to Text Adventures. Yeah, um, and then I loved Impossible Mission, as I ah, as I what mentioned. Did, how do you get up there? I don't know. It's so glitchy. Maybe you have something more to do? I don't know. Mm, I think I can get, maybe. Oh, my God. Uh, it's okay. <sighs> okay, let's look. Maybe there's one more room? No. Oh, it's no, it's not even there. Walls. Oh, no. Oh, what? no, that's... Oh, I see. It's the right room. Then the center room. Okay, then you want to see... Well, yeah, run up there, maybe. Then the left room. They're all yeah. they're all done. I, there must be a way to just get up there. I'm trying to think of the games I played a lot of. I had this terrible game that was volleyball, and it was a line, and these two heads, and they would bounce on each side. And I remember having... Um, I'm going to jump a little bit earlier. There we go. My dad's friend's kids come over, and they thought that was just the stupidest oh, thing they, oh they'd ever seen. This is um, the... Uh, screen that you oh, can jump to. Oh, interesting. I'm just going to go to the proper spot. Um, oh, that's too late. Quest for Tires. Yep. I love Quest for Tires. Yep. I always thought the ending was like because I had some bootleg version of it, but it just ends. It just stops when you get to the end, which I, I, I always thought like I just had, oh, I had a cheap version, but no. It just, you get to a certain point and everything just oh, I'm getting done. craps out, so... Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, yes. Mm. Oh my god, that's a hard text adventure. And I'm gonna die. What else did I play on the C64? And I'm um, gonna die. The timing is brutal. Satan's Hollow. A lot of Satan's Hollow. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, oh no, he's got stuck! Ah! We definitely had a golf game and a flight simulator. Is it the golf game that drew things very slowly on the screen but looked amazing? Yes, yes, I think it was that one, yeah. No, no, I think that's exactly it's it. It's a very good golf game. Yeah. But it's so slow. Uh, oh, what else? Go, go. Oh, you get print stuck. Shop. Go. Oh, good job. It's a lot of print shop. Again. Um, yeah, I anticipated the getting stuck, so I added in that time nice. for it. Nice. Now I'm going to die in something else, and I'm just going to reset back up there. Yeah. Leaderboard. That was that's what it was. Yeah. Leaderboard golf. My dad liked playing with He's me too. So good. Yeah. My dad was a big golfer. 
Um, so he really liked that, and he really, really liked the flight. Like, he specifically bought the flight simulator and a joystick to play the flight simulator with. That's what you need, want to yeah. do. It was like a oh. very fancy joystick. That's what I, <laughs> I remember. Drop. There we go. Yeah. Oh, he gets stuck. This guy's so frustrating. <laughs> oh, it's open? Oh, did it? Okay. This is in the original game. Yeah? Yeah. This exact level. Go, 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 go. Um, hmm. Is that open? Is that oh. closed? Which one's open? Closed or is that open? I wonder what you're talking about. The lantern. At, w at some point it's open and one point it's closed. In the original game it's much easier to tell. <laughs> oh. It's like white when it's open in the original. Oh, maybe when it's gray it's open? Yeah, gray, open? I'm going to go for closed? gray. Uh, ducks Ahoy. Ducks Ahoy. <laughs> Quack, 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 I'll have to play quack, that one day quack, on the quack, Atari. Quack, 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 I guess not. Oh, they're still both going. I thought the other one stopped. Ah! Don't stumble. Stop it. <laughs> A hitchhiker's book. Yeah. The, the interesting thing about Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It was a book. I think it was a radio play first. Then it was a book. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Then it was a TV show. And it was a game. And they're all different. Yeah, very different. Like, well, yeah. not very di like they all have the same, same plot, but go 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 come on there we go, but the details are different in each one, mm. so it's worth checking out every single one of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't think I've ever read the book. I know I've funny. watched some of the movies or translations of. I don't remember this. Things, no, but... this is new. So there's yeah. three passages. This one I don't think I can get to, so that's out of the question. Yeah. So which one should I go for, left uh -huh. or right? Left seems obvious, so I'm gonna go for right. It's going down. You have to yeah, go up. Yeah, I have to wait. Come on. Change. Have you read all five books in the increasingly inaccurately Me. named trilogy? <laughs> I don't know how far. Oh my God, this one. This one is annoying. Hmm. This is ah, the original. Ghost. I went through the books recently for the first time and I found my love for reading again very fun. What turned you off reading in the first place, I wonder? This is this is similar to an original level, if not exactly yeah. the same. I just uh... Go, go, go! Oh god, oh go, 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 no! Do... Captain Class, I just listened to the first and second radio plays for uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It is mostly the same as the first two books, but as James says, some of the details are different. Yeah. yeah. Like in the TV mm -hmm. show, they have like on-screen information yeah. from the book, from from the fake Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy book. Like it goes into detail about things with uh, infographic on the screen. So it's really funny that way. Rendered Ghost says, academic reading burned me out of go, reading go, 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 for go, go, fun go. for a long time. I completely understand. I actually had to do a ton of academic reading for my job. Oh, there we go. And um, okay, no, I think I didn't read for pleasure for about this, two years. This is in the original. Oh, well, This yeah. isn't, but that three thing is. That's cool. This is like dark level. Can you oh, duck? God. You can duck. There you go. First time you have to duck. Yeah. Duck. Squish. Squish that cat. Squish that cat. Squish that Bruce Lee. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny how when you have to do a ton of reading, that's just the last thing you want to do. It's like, I'll watch a movie, I'll play a video game, yeah. I am not reading a book when you have to read for long periods of time. Squish that Bruce Lee. Now, yeah, this is in the original, I remember nice. now, that you have to go through these. Wow, you're just Oh, it's boss time. But Almost this. boss time. Is it? I remember this being, like, ah, oh my god. Maybe it gets worse. 
I really should read the books, though. I've seen just the TV and... Um, that old guy was nothing. Very impressive movies. looking, but... Oh, that's Adapted it? From the books. That's the boss? The You're bo done? Are you jumping, or is it yep. jumping? Da 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 Beautiful! Look at Atari, he's so excited. He's oh, so excited. Atari, what are you doing? He's like, it's food time, it's yeah. food time. <laughs> <laughs> um, the boss should be much harder. <laughs> that was like the easiest screen. Yeah. I didn't die at all. Congratulations! Didn't... You won you congratulations six oh eight seven five four <laughs> zero four yay um i mean That's i had great. unlimited lives it looks so good it's very very cool yeah in the original those at some point those things go mao, mao do they oh mao, mao. i love that <laughs> like a hungry cat oh, what can, are you doing i can what punch what are you doing can't kick but i can what punch now hoop, hoop, in one direction very cool very cool oh what was i gonna do oh i was gonna show you no i already showed you the difference in ver in uh composite mm. and there's also that garbage on the side but yeah that's not a big deal that's fine on a crt you can't see that no true true um i think a level after two after you beat the first game they do that sound uh mm. okay so you loop around and they all go wow wow <laughs> the c64 it's so funny is it yeah it's a very different sound than on this wow um good stuff very good game so today yeah we played yoomp awesome very very good yeah. challenge right level of challenge oh yeah moving around it's got lots of power-ups mm. and different avoid things you have to avoid uh invader very cool concept mm -hmm. nice twist on space invaders yeah i like it one button game yeah, one button and game. And challenging. And challenging, yeah. Very challenging. Yeah, really fun. Two players, a little bit easy. Yeah. So I think it may, it should be maybe a little bit harder for two players. Yep. Bruce Lee Patch Achieve. Uh, that would be an awesome patch. Without using proper lives. Like, I had oh, unlimited. Oh, that's true. You did have an unlimited. Uh, definitely lives. a patch would be deserved if you completed that on oh, whatever. God. Four, five lives? Five lives, yeah. Oh, my God. Hmm. Um, and Bruce Lee, uh, Return of Fury, excellent. Uh, there's some bugs in it, but they're still working on it. It's not done yet. Mm -hmm. So I will let them know, uh, if they don't watch this. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they know. Like I posted in, th in the thread, but they may not, yeah. they well, may fine. not watch it or they not. They can always watch it after the fact. Or he, he may not watch it because it's just one guy working on it now. Because oh, okay. the original guy handed it off because he ran out of time. Mm. Actually had a lot to read. Mm. Um. I actually over-prepare for these shows, by the way. I, don't, I only read about half the notes <laughs> half I take. Half of the stuff he has on the page. Yeah. If you direct me, I can read stuff out. But uh... um, Hi, guys. Very sorry for the delay in answering. I started a side business last fall. Between that and my day job, I have zero free time. Mm. Phantomas seems to be an interest in finishing up, so I'll hand it off to him what I have. Nice. And he said that a week ago. Nice. Um, um, yeah. So, great games today. So the next show, um, we will be playing probably 2600 Day. Okay. Because um, we haven't had a 2600 Day in a while because nobody's been putting very much out for that. Um, but there's a couple uh, small games that have been put out that, and I hopefully can add something to that, maybe an older game, or if somebody puts out a big update. Uh, we're gonna be playing Retro Park and Legendary Spear. Okay. Two very quick games. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I need some bigger, bigger, yeah. bigger game. Well, just do an uh, After Dark of Zoom. That, Zoomp or, yeah. That's possible. Just do an After Dark. Do a bunch of small games. Yeah. Um, and then do an After Dark, yep. which is a good plan. That's, yep. that's a possibility. Well, thank you, Dan. It was great games tonight. Wee More 2600. Um... very good message um and then in the future i don't poll know results, what day poll results someone was saying to you poll results yeah oh yes. yeah <laughs> totally forgot thank you charles <laughs> where are the poll results they have disappeared they have disappeared <laughs> i think i still have them up here they're 
all dark. Okay, so <laughs> in an absolute tie. Oh, um, wow. Actually, I could probably show it on this screen if I'm clever. If you're clever. Yeah, that should work. Ooh. Should work. I would say though. There we go. Nice and big. They're pretty. <laughs> they're pretty balanced. Uh, balance between Vectrex and Intellivision. Yeah, but even even the C sixty four, which is very grayed out, is still twenty five percent. Still close. So yeah. people are like, yeah, 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 whichever. Yeah. So <laughs> it says Vectrex and Intellivision. Um, it could be either one, because mm. Vectrex will take a bit of setting up, but not much. I just point a camera at it mm. instead of hooking it up to a system. I hook up the encoder to a camera, and that's it. Um, and then this camera stays on us, and I, I would use your uh, camera to point at the Vectrex. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, that would work. Yeah. Uh, Enduro Patch After Dark. Mm, might go for that one again. Yes, Might yeah. want to change it up. Yeah. But it got really, really, quite close. You did, yeah. In Enduro, so I might want to just finish that one off. Give it another, um, another kick, yeah. Yeah, and it's fun to play, too. Mm -hmm. um, and Intellivision is sent off to get upgraded, so I would expect that in a few weeks. Cool. Two, three, four weeks maximum, maybe. Depends mm -hmm. how busy uh, Crossbow is with his stuff. I mean, there's no rush for that. Um, and definitely I'll be wanting to play Intellivania uh, when we... Intellivania, when we get the Intellivision. Mm. And I've got Vector Blade. Do you want to flip over? Oh, yeah, very tiny. Yeah. Everybody's seen the <laughs> results now. Uh, Intellivania for the Intellivision, yeah. uh, which is very cool. And um, Vector Blade, which is a shooter, a mm. very nice shooter, for the Vectrex, plus a billion other um, homebrew games for the Intellivision as well. So I'd have to pick... My favorite ones as well. Would rather see ColecoVision over Intellivision. Oh, the the homebrew scene for ColecoVision. Um, they don't release their games for free. Well, that's what he was much. saying. That's he, the problem. You have to buy actual cards. There are fees. some ROMs, but the newest ones, like they're locked up. You mm. have to become like a club member? member. Yeah. Or buy them outright. And I've bought very many Coleco homebrews, so. That makes it very difficult for ColecoVision. I do have an RGB ColecoVision, so hooking it up is not a problem. Uh, there are older free ROMs, and I have a bunch of older free ROMs. Oh, crossbow. Don't have to reply about when you're going to get it done. Once I have it and can slot it in, it'll only take me a few days to get it done and back your way. Yeah. Well, that's good. Um, but he has many other people's to do because he's very popular. Yeah, yeah. He does a great job <laughs> of upgrading systems. Yes. Um, so, in television. I think it's a bit more open for ROMs. Okay. Plus, I do have Intellivania, which I do want to play. So yep. I do have one to play, and then I can pick a couple other ones. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Vectrex Homebrew I'm is excited quite for open. Yeah. Um, C64 is quite open as well. But you have some Vectrex games you've bought that I don't yes. think we've... Yeah. Tons. Yeah. yeah. So I that think... That I've not, not even played. That you've, yeah, you haven't really had the opportunity. So it's, it would be a really nice opportunity to play them. That's right. Uh, uh, every Christmas, Team Pixel Boy puts out a bunch of free ROMs mm. for the ColecoVision. So they're okay. probably like a year or two old. Gotcha. After, and that makes sense. After everybody's bought them and they're like, well, we've sold 200 and now it's selling one every two months. Time to release it for free. Mm -hmm. Might as well. And, and they they only have so many box copies too. It's like, well, they're all gone. I'm not going to make any more money on them. But they do sell ROMs. Um, and in television sells ROMs too. I have the LTO Flash for the Intellivision, which it has a serial number on it mm -hmm. that you buy the game. Oh, yes. They encode it with your serial number, yeah. so it only works on your cartridge. Wow. So they can keep selling those forever. And, um, yeah, so it's interesting. That's really smart. Mostly older stuff. Uh, okay. So, uh, we'll be back on Friday. It is Friday. And we'll be back next Friday, too. But we'll be back on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, it's getting all crappy. Look at, it's gone red. Oh, no. Ending. What's going on? Bad. And 
It's going up and down. Is it? Um, I was back on Tuesday, 6 p.m. normal time, and then back again on Friday. It's Darcy's Day next Friday, right? Next Friday? Yeah, but I'm not sure if you'll... You'll have to figure out what you're doing on Friday. Oh. All right. Well, I guess... Yeah, no, no I guess no, next it's fine. Friday's uh, fine. Next Friday's right? fine. It's the 17th. Yeah. yeah. Next Friday's fine. Yeah. But the Friday after, after that, there is no show. Yeah. So, but that's yeah. far in the future. You don't have to care about that yet. That's for <laughs> that's for future future James to worry about. That's right. Yeah. Not present. Not present. Yeah. Um, so thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the games as much mm -hmm. as we did. Um, you can go so download them and play them. Yeah. Um, even if you don't have an eight bit Atari, uh, download Altera. It is an excellent emulator. Get yourself a USB joystick. Play all the games. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to have one. Um, thank you, MU Dan, Crossbow, Captain Classic, Charles Whelan, Mike Soul, Rendered Ghost, Charles Reese, Vitoko, Nostalgic, mm -hmm. Rendered Ghost. I think I said that. Mike Soul, Miss Metal Lunar, um, Dan ABC, Ground Trooper. Phaser Cat Games, nice. uh, Thylord Root, saw this in my recommended. Are you a 6502 hacker? Uh, nope, but we play 6502 games yes. <laughs> on various things. But yeah. thank you for uh, tuning in yeah. and checking out our 6502 uh, homebrew game mm. channel. Uh, Mark Space Inc. Hey, Mark Space Inc. Um, who else? Lots of people. Thanks for tuning in yeah, today. Yeah, lots of chatting. I lots like that. Lots of chatting. I think we covered all the chatters. Mm -hmm. unless, yep, all the way to the top. Excellent. Let's see if anybody chimed in at the last second. Nope. nope. Um, so that is it from us. And uh, the cats, thank you for feeding them. Mm -hmm. And we will be back on Tuesday mm -hmm. with more homebrew. So see you then. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.